All right, in this video, we're going to do a quick recap of the lab 10 procedure for building a session that includes an aux track uh, for creating some reverb uh, effect sends. So first, I'm going to start by launching Pro Tools. That will take you to the dashboard here. Um, next, uh, name your session, maybe something like your name, and then uh, lab 10. And I'm going to keep everything else uh, by its default setting and hit create. Uh, looks like I already had a session named that. All right. So next you have an empty mix window, empty edit window. Uh, I'm going to start by importing some audio. Um, for your own lab 10, it doesn't really matter uh, what audio you use. Could be something from one of your GarageBand sessions, or it could be something you found on freesound.org. Um, you could try recording something new using one of the MIDI instruments in Pro Tools. Um, it's really up to you. You just need some kind of audio to work with. So uh, I'm going to audition this. I, uh... Okay, so we're going to have some uh, vocals here. I'll add that and open it. Import it into the new track. Uh, if you're using Pro Tools first, that process is going to be a little bit simpler. Um, the import audio window is a, just a little bit more straightforward than the, the full version of Pro Tools. Uh, so here I'll say, oh, uh, oops, vocals. And I'll audition this real quick. Uh, I might create a fade out here first. I, uh... That's a little loud, uh, so I'm going to lower the fader volume a bit. I am for control, knowing I have no... Okay, so next I've got my audio set up. Uh, I need to create an aux track, an auxiliary input track. So I'll hit Shift Command N. Uh, I want it to be stereo. You should also have it be stereo. Um, go to aux input. Uh, you want it to be in samples, not ticks. Uh, we'll name it uh, Vocal Reverb. So now we have this uh, aux track here. Uh, in order to set up the send, I need to be in the mix window. Again, I can use command or control equals to switch between these, or go to window here and select mix or edit. But to set up the send, I need to be in the mix window. So I'll go to, go to the send uh, channel strip here, and we need to send a copy of the signal of the vocals out on a bus. Uh, so I'm just going to select bus one and two, but you could select any of the buses here. Again, this is sort of like a virtual signal path or a, a virtual cable connection uh, that we're calling bus one and two. Um, next, hold the Alt or Option key and click the fader, and that will immediately jump it to zero. So the sent signal from the vocal track uh, will be sent to the aux at the same level. Uh, if you wanted to alter that, you would kind of play with the fader here, but that's more for creating something like a headphone mix, which is um, a little bit beyond the scope of the class. Um, so you've got your, your vocal track sending out on bus one and two. It's creating that sort of parallel, um, parallel uh, uh, connection. And next, we need to set the input of the aux input to bus one and two. So where it says no input under IO, select the drop down menu, go to bus, where it says bus one and two. And now we should have the vocals sending in parallel out for, on bus one and two into this aux input. Uh, and if I hit play at this point, we should see a level on both tracks. I am for. It'll be a little louder too because we're hearing two instances of that of that track. Uh, now what we want to do is process that uh, copy with reverb. So I'll go to the inserts, uh, the first insert, and I'll instantiate a deverb plugin. And make sure that it's set to 100% processed. So it's like we're mixing the dry vocal sound with the 100% um, affected sound. And now when I hit play, you should hear a mix of the vocals and the vocal reverb. I am for control, knowing I have no... Okay. 
I am f and if I hit uh, space bar stop it partway through, you're, you'll kind of hear that reverb tail uh, fade out. Uh, I might choose a plate reverb. That's kind of a nice, I am nice effect on vocals. It's also a little hot, so I might the the reverb is a little little bit hot, so I might pull that down as well. I am for control. I am for control. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, that's how you set up a effect send in Pro Tools. And you could really have any effect here. Um, it could be reverb, delay, uh, EQ, compression, any of the normal effects, a limiter, um, really any effect that you want to process, um, uh, process another track and have a lot of control. Again, we could just put a reverb plugin on the individual track and then adjust the dry affected mix. Um, it's a little bit less professional of a way to do it. It doesn't, doesn't give you quite the control uh, that you would have. And again, it helps us save a little bit of processing speed too. If I have just this one reverb plugin and I might be working with a, a lot of vocals, like maybe I have some backup vocals too and I wanna send all of those through the reverb, um, that's gonna help help me save some processing speed. Uh, and again, I think just having the more control over the sound um, is uh, another reason to do this. So from here, uh, if you're interested, this is really all you have to do for Lab 10, but you could uh, experiment with some of these controls. Um, we could increase the decay time or decrease the decay time, uh, create just like a, a shorter reverb tail. I am for so just a little bit shorter. Uh, we could add some pre-delay. So the reverb sound, like the reflections, don't start until, uh, let's say, 10 milliseconds after the direct sound starts. I am for control. Uh, it's actually not super noticeable there, but there is just a little bit of delay uh, before the reverb starts. I could really exaggerate this. I am for control. You can really hear it there. Uh, it, you would do that in a mix to kind of add some clarity um, to the affected sound because you're hearing that direct sound right away and then when the pre-delay comes in you're still getting that overall sort of effect of reverberation but um, uh, it's helping it cut through the mix a little bit better um, because of that pre-delay. So again lots to explore um, but that's basically it. How to do lab 10. I hope that helps.